Right, I have a UPS here. This is an offline UPS, which means when the power dips, the UPS kicks in and takes over as the supply. So what I noticed is it's giving me a offline, uh, there was the, this, if I plug it in, it's, it's saying here like warning or, or like uh, um, error and it, it's not working properly. So when I uh, switch it on, switch it off, it keeps giving me that signal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and check. I suspect that it's the batteries. Now inside of these small UPSs are these 7 amp hour batteries. This UPS happens to be a, they call it a 1200 watt or 2000 VA UPS. So it's got these batteries in and I suspect that the battery is faulty. So what I just did is I firstly unplug it, take the kettle plug out and there are several screws here. You'll need a really long screwdriver because it all goes in all the way like that. And now I'm going to take it off. All right? And I'm going to open it up. And I've unscrewed this cover here. And here I see the two batteries. What I want to do is I want to take these batteries out and actually test them. These are jumper here. So what it means is it's in series. We've got positive, negative, negative and positive are just jumpered and then negative here. So that should be 12 volts, that should be 12 volts, which gives me 24 volts across positive to negative. And when I measure it, I'm only getting, I'm getting actually very low. I'm getting 11. There's the meter. So I've set this to, to measure volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just disconnect here and take a measurement on this first battery and have a look and see what it's giving me. Right, let's measure it. Okay, it's giving me seven and a half volts. So it's supposed to be 12 volts and it's been on all the time. So that means that this battery has been unable to charge. And it, it needs to be 12 volts. It should even be, the, the lowest it should be is about 9 or 10 if it's discharged. But it shouldn't go that low. And what you, uh, there is a way of actually um, servicing the battery. You can actually cut this open and then refill it up with distilled water. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to now measure this battery and see what it's saying. 4 volts. So this one is even worse. 4 volts. This battery is, is actually done. So I have some new batteries. I've got uh, the, the, uh, these, two, these two batteries here. I've got the IDS. It's a high quality battery. And I've got a 4 bat. Also a fairly good battery. And I'm going to install these instead. I'm just going to take a measurement of these and just see. Um, yeah, you see, there we go. You can have a look at that. Don't know if you can see it, but uh, 13 volts and 13.2. So these batteries are, uh, this one is brand new and this one is in very good condition. So these batteries are now going to be installed in this UPS. But what I recommend is just stick them together. So I'm just going to tape them. And it's not a bad idea to put a date on your battery. So what you're going to do now is stick these batteries together. Just to line them up. There we go. Now they're stuck. I'm going to put the jumper back on. The positive is there. The negative is here. 
you can see that uh, some some sparking there just make this must be very tight not tight enough yes and this must be very tight already it's come on you can see there it's come on so I'm just going to switch it off so immediately I've now seen that the fault was just that the batteries were old and they needed to be changed so I'm just going to close this up now right now it's important that you notice it only fits in one space there's only one way to put these batteries back and that's that there is space just on this section here All right, just putting the screws back Okay, so let's turn it on. I can hear it going and it's unplugged, so it's now working off the battery. If I plug in the power, yes. So if I unplug it now, into UPS mode. Right, so the key of this uh, presentation was that the um, battery when you're getting if you can measure your battery if i look at this battery here it's literally at zero volts this is a dead battery and that was the problem with this uh, ups is that the cells on the battery had gotten way too low this one being four volts and as i said there are ways to service these batteries but that's not part of this video thanks for watching